Hey farmers! In this tutorial, we will learn how to access and use CropBytes assets outside the game. To know more about it, check the description where we have added the link to the blog on how to use CB assets on chain. CropBytes assets are listed on Polygon as ERC-1155 tokens, a new token standard that supports games with high liquidity assets. So, let's get started. Step 1. Create a wallet on any popular platforms like MetaMask, Trust Wallet or others that support Polygon Network. For this video, we'll set up a Polygon wallet on MetaMask. Step 2. Add Polygon Network to your MetaMask wallet and switch the network to Polygon. Import Asset Contract in MetaMask. The Asset Smart Contract is provided in the description below. Now that you have your wallet set up, let's explore the different use cases of CropBytes assets outside the game. First, you can use the assets to trade on OpenSea and other marketplaces. It is crucial to be careful where you put your assets and do proper research before using Web3 platforms. To deposit assets, generate the deposit wallet address from the game wallet. To access the wallet address of each asset inside CropBytes, go to your farm, click on the panel on the top left corner, select Wallet, and search for the Asset tab. Make sure to read the instructions before conducting any transfers. To make a deposit, you will need to use a platform that supports ERC-1155 tokens and Polygon Network. You can visit OpenSea.io and connect your MetaMask or any blockchain wallet that supports Polygon. Select the asset from your wallet. Enter the quantity and the address of your CropBytes game wallet, and click Transfer. You will need to confirm the transaction from your wallet, and it will take up to 30 minutes for the transaction to reflect in your wallet. To withdraw the assets, paste the address of the wallet that you want to transfer the assets. Add in the rest of the details and hit Withdraw. However, please note the following. Asset rewards marked as non-withdrawable cannot be withdrawn. There is a minimum withdrawal of one unit of asset per transaction. There will be a time-bound withdrawal limit for every asset. Withdrawals will process only if sent to an ERC-1155 compatible address on Polygon, Modich. Please cross-check the destination address. Withdrawal requests cannot be cancelled after submission. Withdrawals to wrong addresses cannot be recovered and will be lost forever. Now, let's explore what you can do with your CropBytes assets on dApps. You can send these assets to a friend's wallet address or their farm directly. Trade them on marketplaces such as OpenSea. Look out for more use cases for CropBytes assets such as providing liquidity for fees on liquidity pools in the future. We will announce these as and when we partner up with such platforms. You can also store these assets in your digital or hard wallets. However, when these assets are deployed in the game, they produce extracts and utilities from which you can earn and also build your farming business. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to use CB assets on chain. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank <music> you.